three days you see linga aku kuno yeah yeah that's um what i was asking like mm. in some compounds you go there you see it's a big compound mm. where in part of the compound it's you know all it's business the, the, the resident the other side is used for yeah. residential purposes mm. in a circumstance like that yes. uh, what usually is the stance of gra uh, uh, because you munna mu fanna fla le de bila me alon ko mol be sabat nge ani ata bla klo do me bi ala fanna do men be je wal ka business wal ete korda ti ete le alon ni ul fanna flo le mo me e ka je le soto je o fomo bala fomo ke ni ni ka ni ku flo e ye je le soto lu aso do mol be sabat nge da me ke la je ye o itan ni o nyanta tax la ko men 10% la la sari a fo nyame ani ye je le soto lu aso do mol bere damento use kam pour business o yo fana itan di formo bala o nyanda tax la 15% because ñu me on me ete me ka ko do ñu so do ete alo ne me on me ka jël la so doje so nde a fo ni o fo diare nga cheme wuli cheme du le so do ndu la do nga wuli cheme so do ndu la do do den diare ba e ba fle ne ñu do me e ka wuli cheme du so do je me alo business du la la mo o nyanda tax la 15% ñu ndo me ko wili cheme so do me alon ko mo lel be sabatu nje ke laaje wo nyanta tax la 10% so ñun ko mo ñu mu fanna fula de me alo ma nyana e jakas la good the sir how collaborative are people in trying to pay this residential and commercial rental taxes from gra's point of view yeah the compliance is very low we can say because Number one, we can say it was due to on awareness. Most people, as you talk to them, they tell man how much on. I never knew I should pay this. Mm -hmm. And then, if you sensitize them more, they will pick up. Mm -hmm. But we can say it's an area that we definitely are focusing our attention on to make sure the, we raise the compliance level. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you very much, uh, Mr. Fafanding Cham from the Gambia Revenue Authority. This was the Taxpayer Education Program on GRTS. I was your presenter, Mumudinjai. Enjoy the rest of our programs. Have a good evening.
welcome to another week of the Fatu Show. This is precisely what you've been looking for. A vacation in some exotic destination. Green and always sunny. I mean, ever blue skies, navigable rivers, and clean white beaches. Begging for a lazy day. You gotta be in the destination which brings together all these qualities. It's 2013 and time to experience the ultimate break, savoring moments that will stay with you forever. Discover the characterful delight of this smiling coast on the expedition with me, Ibrahima Jara, at this time on GRTS. High speed internet for less. Gamcell 3G, beyond your imagination. Yai Barum. Welcome once again to yet another GAMCEL program. When we talk about GAMCEL, we mean Gambia Cellular Company, the nation's national GSM company. With me tonight, you see some familiar faces uh, in the presence of uh, Mr. Sirif uh, Bob, otherwise known as GAMCEL Bokul Fasam. <laughs> Mr. Sirif Bob, uh, welcome to the program. You have uh, on my immediate uh, left, you have uh, Nancy Seka also of the Marketing Communications Unit of Gamsel Company Limited, uh, a new face I could uh, imagine on the screens of GRTS, but not a new face in Gamsel, uh, by the name uh, Louis Ami Drame. Louis Ami Drame, welcome to this Gamsel program. Thank you. Uh, last week we were here talking about uh, Gamsel's 3G, and we were talking about uh, the 3G testing and its completion uh, as far as the customers were concerned. Now we are here today to talk about the charges on those uh, 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 usage of the 3G. Uh, but before I go any further, I will just invite uh, Luis uh, Ami Drame. So far, customers uh, who have used the 3G have uh, confirmed speed. Uh, what else is in the 3G besides the speed? Um, speed is one of the top things. That when you use it, the first thing you notice is how quick it is. When you're downloading, it's like it takes you a minute to download, say, if you're downloading fiber. You can actually count the seconds that it takes. But apart